come along and learn with me about the floating blue community. Hi and welcome back to the final part of the floating blue community, a Guardians of the Deep learning experience. In this final installment, we'll be looking at the resourceful Columbus crab and testing your knowledge with a quiz on what we've learned so far. Like the boy barnacle, this crustacean belongs to Phylum arthropoda. And like the sea swallows, it hunts blue bottles, blue buttons and by the wind sailors, seabirds being their most common predator. This little blue crab is often found in association with loggerhead turtles and fills a mutually beneficial cleaning role. While the crab cleans the turtle's carapace and plastron of small epibions, it receives a safe place to live. At night, the crab feeds on its cnidarian prey. Columbus crabs are quite good swimmers, but only over short distances and in warmer waters. Hmm, a bit like me. Hitching a ride on a turtle has its advantages. Now, let's see how many of you have been paying attention. Do you remember that quiz from part one? We're going to try and see how many of those questions you can now answer having watched all of our lessons on the Floating Blue community. Pause the video now to see how many of these questions you can answer. When you're ready, press play. Question one. What is a floating blue community? There are lots of blue animals that can float on top of the ocean. Question 2. How does a sea swallow stay buoyant? They swallow air bubbles at the sea surface. Question 3. Explain counter shading. They are type of camouflage and the top is dark and bottom is the bottom is light. Question 4. Which species produces its very own gas-filled float? It's a blue bottle. Question 5. What is a nidocyst? It's a stinging cell and it's sore and it goes zzzz. Okay, question 6. How did the bubble raft shell get its name? It makes its own raft of bubbles to help it float. Question 7. Can you explain the benefit in the float orientation of the blue bottle? It stops organism from stranding when the strong wind is blowing. Question 8. How does the sea swallow get its stinging defense? By eating cnidarians and using the stinging cells for themselves. Question 9. What four polyp colonies make up the blue bottle. Mu metaphor. Ganozooids and gastrozooids and the nidocysts. And your last question, question 10. What is Pluston? Organisms that live in the very top layer of an aquatic environment. <laughs> The sea surface is a very vulnerable place to live. This floating community is exposed to predators from above and below and is now facing deadly human threats to their survival. Oil spills, climate change and pollution are drastically impacting the surface ecosystem. Efforts to mitigate these threats should be closely monitored. Dispersants used to break down oil spills kill large numbers of Newston. And using unmanned devices, such as skimmers, to collect plastic from the sea surface does so indiscriminately. Animals attached to floating debris, as well as animals and seaweed floating in between the debris, are all removed from this important community. We can help this beautifully fascinating community by remembering the environment when we make our choices throughout the day. Choosing to use less single-use materials, recycling, eco-bricking, and carefully picking up litter on the beach will prevent it from becoming garbage in the ocean. I have a special bottle that I use at school and I use it all day long. We recycle everything that's cardboard. When I make these choices, I can protect the environment. My choice is powerful.
So Junior Ranger Tom and the rest of the Guardians of the Deep crew, we have now come to the end of our Floating Blue Community mini-series. We hope you've enjoyed the journey with us and please get in touch if you find any of these creatures on our local beaches. If you discover any species while you are outdoors exploring in nature and you would like to learn more about them, please feel free to contact us via email or on any of our social media platforms. Who knows, maybe we'll feature it in our next mini-series. Thanks for watching!